So there was a lot of hype going on when the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro M1 were released. Everyone was going crazy like M1, M1, M1. And this is real. The M1 is in fact M1. So M1 is an ARM based system on a chip designed by Apple as a CPU and GPU for its Macs and iPad Pro tablets. Apple themselves manufactures these chips and not Intel. And Apple did it once again. They built an ultimate laptop. So this laptop has a fingerprint sensor on the top. This time it is outside the touch bar. Also the touch bar is pretty solid. I like it because you get everything in one place and do not have to search for buttons. It also has an improved 720p camera, two USB-C ports and a headphone jack. This retina display is made up of 2560 into 1600 pixels with 500 nits of brightness and true tone technology. The keyboard on this laptop is pretty lit. I'm not talking about backlit, but lit. Most of us hated the butterfly keyboard and Apple changed it. Now it is a scissors mechanism keyboard. Though I like it, I'm still used to my Logitech G813 LightSync RGB mechanical keyboard, 16.8 million colors with programmable G keys, ultra thin design with mechanical tactile switches. A lot of description. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Logitech, nor Apple, nor any other company. And finally, there is this very smooth trackpad, probably the best on any laptop in the world. The touch response is on point, and it also has some multi-touch gestures like opening the trackpad, back to desktop, and navigation through full screen apps. Here are the speakers about which I'll tell you later in the video. The design of the laptop is same as the previous MacBooks, and the body is made up of durable aluminum. The laptop is pretty light to carry, but keeps sharp things away from it as it gets scratched easily. Talking about the performance this laptop delivers is amazing. To test this, I ran a couple of apps like Spotify, Safari, VS Code, Chrome and Xcode all together. And it seemed to have no issues even in terms of temperature. Though I did not test any heavy apps like Premiere Pro and Adobe Lightroom, they must work fine but caused a slowdown because of not so good optimization. That is why I still edit my photos and videos on my PC and do not want to push my laptop very much. Alright, so talking about the software, you can run powerful apps built for M1, thanks to Rosetta 2. And for the first time, you can use your favorite iPhone and iPad apps directly on macOS Big Sur. MacBook optimized apps like Safari take no time to open. They open in literally seconds. And I also love Apple using glass morphism for their apps. It makes it look more beautiful. If you are a student or a content creator, this laptop is a complete banger. Many productivity apps are optimized for the M1 MacBook Pro like Microsoft 365, Adobe Lightroom, Messenger, Zoom, Twitter, Chrome, Notion, among us. Yes, you can also download iPhone and iPad apps directly. Well, talking about battery life, according to Apple, this laptop has a battery life of 20 hours. Apple was wrong this time. I used this laptop for more than 20 hours on a single charge while shooting and recording videos for YouTube. Do not hold much on this because this is not a computer you would buy to run apps like Premiere Pro and After Effects. Finally, in the end, I decided to record the audio using the laptop's microphone. So what you are listening to now is captured by the inbuilt microphone on the MacBook Pro. And finally, the speakers. 
I hear a lot of music on Spotify while coding and creating content. And this is how the speakers sound. Crispy. So should you buy the MacBook Pro? Make a list of apps you want to work with and see if they are compatible with the Mac. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching till the end. Leave a comment telling if you would buy this MacBook and what do you like about it. It was my first review video. I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care and happy coding.